What's up guys and pals, it's your boy Vino. So today is Cinco de Mayo, which means that it is the last day of our Cinco de Mayo tequila cocktail countdown. Now we're gonna end this series with a little bad boy called a Spaghetti Western. Now if you don't know what a Spaghetti Western is, that is a sub-genre of Western films. You know those old Clint Eastwood films that were produced in Europe. And the reason they were called Spaghetti Westerns is because most of them were directed by Italians. So you know, spaghetti, Italians, you know the whole thing, you know? It makes you wonder, if, it were, if they were filmed in New York, would they, call, would they be called like a bacon, egg, and cheese westerns? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, folks, so this cocktail was created by Jessica Gonzalez over at Death & Co. And we're going to go ahead and make it right now. So make sure you stick around because we're going to boogie down. All right, folks, so this is a stirred cocktail. This is actually the first stirred cocktail of our tequila series. So this is gonna be nice. You know, Vino loves stirred cocktails, all right? Now let's look at what is in the sauce. The first thing we're gonna need is one ounce of a Reposado tequila. And per usual, Vino is going to be using my Espelon Reposado tequila, but you can use whatever you guys have in stock, all right? Then the next thing we're gonna want is a very close cousin of, very close family member, maybe maybe a kissing cousin of a tequila, and that is mezcal. So we're gonna use a half an ounce of mezcal, and I'm gonna be using madre mezcal, all right? So you can use whatever mezcal you have, but Vino's using madre, all right? So let's go ahead and put that to the side. And then the next thing you're gonna use, which really excites me, because damn, God knows people know I love my Amaro, okay? We're gonna be using three quarters an ounce of Amaro Nonino. Now this is, this is a delicious uh, Amaro. So I'm really excited to see how this shows up on the cocktail. This is gonna be very nice, very, very nice, all right? And then we're gonna do one dash of orange bitters. I'm gonna be using Angostura bitters, all right? I'm gonna throw a couple dashes in there, you know, just for, just for good measure, you know what I'm saying? Now let's go ahead and add some ice to our mixing glass. All right, and we're gonna stir that for about 25 to 30 seconds, all right? All right, folks, I think we stirred this bad boy up enough. Let's go ahead and give it a sample. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice, all right? So let's put that to the side and put that to the side. And we're gonna get our glass out. You're gonna be serving that in an old-fashioned or a rocks glass, all right? And then we're gonna go ahead and use ourselves a nice size cube. We wanna use a big cube, all right? And then let's go ahead and pour this bad boy into our glass, all right? There we go, beautiful. Mmm, oh, you can smell the smokiness coming off of the mezcal. Very, very nice. All right, there you go. Beautiful. Oh, I love that color. Nice straw color. Very, very nice. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a, uh, a grapefruit uh, um, peel. All right. And do a little twist. Whatever you want to do. All right. Nice long peel there for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and express them oils onto the glass. All right, then I'm gonna rub it for some good luck. And then as Vino always does, I'm just gonna go ahead and just clean up a little bit. I'm not gonna get too fancy with it because I'm just gonna throw it inside the glass anyway, all right? There we go, we're doing a nice long one there, all right, folks? And there it is, our Spaghetti Western Cocktail. All right, so let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sippy sip. Cheers to Cinco de Mayo. Hope you guys have a great Cinco de Mayo. Make sure you drink safely, okay? Cheers. Oh, right in the nose, those beautiful grapefruit notes. I mean, that's a nice way of saying, hello, drink me, pal. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look, it's a mezcal cocktail. I, think, I, I don't care what anybody says, okay? Because you're getting that smokiness for the mezcal right up front. It's the first thing you taste but it's very, very nice, guys. And the Nonino adds a beautiful sweetness to the cocktail, has some citrus to the cocktail, a little bit of some like, uh, you know, some ripe strawberry notes as well. You get a little bit of that there as well. Um, it's just very nice. This is, this is a nice sipper, guys. This is, look, at the end of the night on Cinco de Mayo, when you just want to relax after a long day of going crazy, eating tacos and, you know, wearing sombreros and going nuts, this is a nice way to kind of end things. A little nightcap, you know what I'm saying? Get another sip. Mm. Oh yeah, this is nice. I can tell you from Favino, this is the perfect way to end this series. This is it, this is it. That's why I saved it. I love a stirred cocktail. This is delicious, all right, folks? Anyway, look, I hope you enjoyed this Cinco de Mayo uh, countdown, uh, tequila countdown series. 
you know, let me know down in the comments which one of these cocktails you tried, which ones you might want to try, what, what was your favorite, maybe you didn't like something too much. Uh, or let me know if there's any tequila or mezcal cocktails that you guys like that I did not make and maybe I'll make them next year or maybe I'll make them during the summer or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just share with me what is your favorite uh, a tequila or mezcal cocktail. And also, what do you guys love to do on Cinco de Mayo? What is your favorite thing to do? You like to go out to a Mexican restaurant? You like to just sit home and drink? You know, go to a, a Mexican parade, Mexican day parade? You know, what do you guys do on Cinco de Mayo? All right, folks? Anyway, look, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring. And when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.